This video you're about to hear, I guess you could call it like a prelude or a summary of a rather long video I put together over this week. It's about an hour and 20 minutes long. I know, I hope it, people watch it from beginning to end. Most won't. They can't get past 10 minutes. So, this is a prelude, a summary of what that rather long video I'll be posting sometime this week on this channel. It gives you an overview of a lot that I've shared for the last 14 years through all these videos. Things that the Father taught me to share and I share them with you, those in Christ. So, listen to the short video and then when I put out that rather long video, that's your choice, but this will give you a summary of what I was talking about in that rather long video. God bless. Well, picking up a little more on this, for lack of knowledge, my people perish. See it this way. We know he saves us, restored us, the rights of an unborn Adam. He's given us the ability to see that we're the offspring of God. Pass on being a son of man, fallen. So we know that. Salvation is assured. Our return home is assured. But while you're here, right, here's some choices. He can sustain you. Understand that? He does. Many times unaware. But you can become aware of this. He really sustains you a lot more than if you weren't aware of it. And you're turning to human efforts to sustain yourself. Remember it says body exercise profits little. But godliness is proper in this life and the life to come. It'll sustain you, and in the life to come, you're going to live out of this forever with indestructible body and mind. But while you're here, right, this outward man is decaying, yet the inward man is constantly being renewed day by day. I like keep feeding it. We do that. And we grow from one degree of glory to another degree of glory, faith to faith. We increase with the increase of God in our spirit. How much of that glory do you want? That's one star difference from another, so we'll win that resurrection. You'll be twinkle, twinkle, a little star, or you won't be a bright and shiny star. You increase with the increases of God, and you're ready to go on to this kingdom of the continuous. Whole series of videos on that. So, choice. Getting past, worrying about salvation, that's always assured. Had nothing to do with us. To justification work, correcting the greatest injustice ever served upon humanity, right? We're not under wrath to God. There's no condemnation. There's those in Christ. We know that. Now we're going on, okay? You want to just be sustained? I'm about 78 years of age. God is sustaining me. And that's why I want to get into this. I've had back ailments for years. More so now than I'm 78 years of age. And my chiropractor saw my back, and he says, it's amazing that you're even walking. Now, if I said to him, uh, the Lord sustains me. I'm saying, well, if I ever want to get healed, we would be by the hand of God. And I didn't mock him, and I'd go back there. Insurance pays for it. And he gives me his exercise, does what he does, doing what he's called to do. I don't mock that. Because why not? He's a Christian. <laughs> he understands what I'm talking about. I said, be by the hand of God. He said, there's not much I can do for you other than give you some exercises, and I'll teach you how to exercise. And I thought, well, the Lord already taught me that, but I didn't say it to him. And, and I'll go back here, George pays for it. My main interest in sharing the Word of God with him. Finally found somebody that could really talk to him about the Word of God. He's, he really knows what I'm talking about. So, we'll see where that goes, but right now, you know, body exercise problems up, but godliness problems in this life, life to come. We want to get into this matter of godliness. Now, he could just sustain you, but how about him healing you? We all like to be healed. But if you settle for this sustain me, Lord, how long could he sustain you? How long do you want to live here? How long does he want you here? 
you have a purpose for being here, and when that purpose is fulfilled, you go home. That comes up playing a lot of my videos. You know this high calling of God, right? And knowing your personal calling, your personal ministry, and don't compare yourself to others. Each one has this purpose and reason for being here, whether you're a hand or other foot. The head's still there. That's what I want to touch upon. This mind, this head of Christ, that same mind was in, and is in you. They couldn't touch him until he laid his hand down by a bottle of them. And, and, and that was for his purpose. He was coming into this world for that very purpose, to restore what Adam lost. He's called the second Adam. What the first Adam got us into this condition we find ourselves in, he restored that rights. And he says, now I understand this, this is that text that I, didn't, I, I, I mentioned in the video, but I never really get into showing you the text, that God would not only sustain us, he would sustain us until the day of Christ. Paul said that 2,000 years ago, and he really believed that that day could happen any day. Did he understand it would be 2,000 years removed and everybody would still be saying that? Waiting for this resurrection, this rapture, this changing in a moment, a twink of an eye, and our being alive? He died. And all since that message, 2,000 years ago, all have died. He even says it, Paul said it. But he really believed, now this is something where, this is where people would object. He really believed that God would have sustained them as long as it would take until the day of Christ, he says it. Now the only reason he didn't make it to, to you know, he would be over 2,000 years of age. Imagine that. Some man walking around is 2,000 years old, no one would believe it. Where's your verse and stuff like that, yeah? Any reason he didn't make it, you know why? It's rumored that they're not sure, but he perished. He died by the hand of Rome. They said that they cut his head off. Ain't that strange? They cut his head off. If that's a fact, they couldn't shut the man up. He had the mind of Christ that was that was controlling his spirit, soul, and body, complete. He would have lived here. He would still be alive there. We'd go out there and meet the Apostle Paul. But they cut his head off. Now, I understand now during this tribulation period, this gets, comes up in many a person's video. I brought it out. That during that tribulation period, the first three and a half years of that tribulation, if you don't receive this mark of the beast without getting into that right now, you're beheaded. Why? Why would they behead you? There's going to be a mystery group, not many, a few, that are known this. And to shut them up, you have to cut their heads off. Now understand, there will be those prior to this snatching away, the mystery group, I show you the mystery now always die, have to die. Those that are alive, and understand what I'm talking about right now. Right now, as I'm making this video. You could start this right now. You could get past just being sustained. You could live as long as you're going to say, if Christ don't come for the next 50 years, I'll be over 100 years of age. He'll not only sustain me, he's going to heal this back. He'll heal my heart. He's going to do any ailments that got in me. He either will sustain me or he'll heal it until the day of Christ. And I'll be alive. And I won't have to physically die. This body is sustained and healed. Sustained and healed. Now, if you don't believe that, oh, you can fight with me. I won't fight with you. And you'll say, well, he died. If, if I die tomorrow, or next week, or 10 years from now, you'll say, boy, you used to think he's going to live forever. Not in this body. In my Zoe body, I'll live forever. Not in this, I'm not talking about this virus body. It's decaying dying. 
but we will put on the inward man, he says, you can put him on. And this inward man will not only sustain it, but it also could heal it. There's a lot to that. His faith has got to come, which is the substance thing we're all hoping for, and would be the evidence of things not seen. So what am I waiting for? God's going to heal his back. He's going to heal his heart. Or he'll sustain me, one or the other. But I don't want to be the dead in Christ. But if, even if I end up being the dead in Christ, then God's not going to worry. The dead in Christ rise first. And we rise together. Those who will be alive at that time. They could understand this and be alive. If you don't come for the next 50 to 100 years, they'll be well, well over 123. The usual cutoff. Or three score and ten, seventy or eighty, staying here with suffering and pain, they'll be alive. And you wouldn't want to talk to many people, they want to think you cheated by uh, changing your birth in that day. Yeah, born 1945. That's proof. Figure 1945 up to 2024, 2025. I'm 78 in November, I'll be 79. I'm heading, heading past Donald Trump's age and Joe Biden's age, you know? And you see the comparison there. You wouldn't believe he's the same, they're the same age. And a difference in their mind and a difference in their body. Now, without my comparing myself to them, I don't want to be like them. They may not know what I'm talking about. Do you know what I'm talking about? Does this sound like heresy to you? Is it far-fetched? I'm putting too much into this and what's there. Get in my series and write to the unfallen Adam. People don't watch that very often. He sustains you until the day of Christ. I don't care when, when that was said. That was said 2,000 years ago. Would he have been alive if they had not cut his head off? It's one of those things we won't know. Most of them... All the apostles died. John died of natural cause, natural death, old age. Some say he was boiled in oil, so I don't know. All kind of rumors about how these, each one of these apostles died. And a lot of Christians since that time had perished, being put down by the world around them, or just dying naturally. They were the dead in Christ. Either martyred or the dead in Christ by natural death. What do you believe? I know, I'm, I'm going to go with this. You can say what you want to say. Well, I think he's gone too far. All right, I'm going to be alive when he comes. If his coming is for the next 50 years, I'm going to be well over 123. Figure it. Well, I just did the math on that. 79 plus 50, I'd be 129 years of age. I would pass the cutoff age of the person that we know in human history, 123. But you'd look back at Adam and that generous before the flood. He lived to be 930. Methuselah lived to be 969 years of age. No, he was up in his 900 years. A lot of them, not to after the biblical flood, they begin to die. And the average lifespan became three score and ten or mean seven years. And if, in, if you live any longer than that, say 80, you'll be with suffering and pain. He would sustain that. The days of your you know, youth are gone. He would sustain you in your old age. Well, many first are getting that. I won't get that here. It comes out in the other videos. He would sustain you. But he also can heal you. What do you want? He said before you life and death, choose. You follow after Christ, you will eventually die. In Christ, you'll die. But apart from Christ, you'll die. Everyone's going to die. Ever since Adam, all have died. Was Paul wrong? Think of it. Methuselah. He died. Adam died. Enoch didn't die. He walked with God and was not. Where did he go? Elijah, after the biblical flood. He walked so close to God 
They have him jumping on the back of a fiery chariot and leaving this world. And many believe that Enoch and Elijah will be these two witnesses that show up in the future. They trans... Uh, what's the word? Transform from the past to our future and they show up in the tribulation period and minister for three and a half years. And they can't touch them. Can't touch them till they lay their hands down and they physically die or are killed. And then it says to them, the Lord says to them, come up here. And they're resurrected to the shock of the world. The dead in Christ rise first. I got that in that series, and people don't understand that. We get all messed up. So, go there to see what I mean by that. The dead in Christ, you know. Elijah, they rise with us. Yeah, but they're there three and a half years after the rapture. If it's pre trib and we leave before the tribulation period, the mystery group, those who are yet living, will rise with those who are dying in Christ. Those of the past, and those of the future. Elijah, Enoch, they come up here. We rise together. You get out of this idea of past, present, and future. It becomes now. The eternal now. You got to get to understand that. Get your mind out of this carnal mind that thinks past, present, and future. Happens now. Well, I'm going to leave you on that. That's the end of that.